right guys, today we're going to ask a simple question. And it's not what's the right way to respond to criticism, it's what's every wrong way you can respond to criticism. Well, I think we can answer that just by looking a little bit at uh, this YouTuber right here, Chris Stolle, because goddamn guys, holy shit dude. Now I'm not going to take a deep dive into what Chris Stolle was being criticized for, there are people who have already looked into that, and those questions I consider to be asked and answered. And once we actually have that video available again, oh, we'll get into that, don't worry. I'll be linking that in the description as well. It's from a YouTuber called Nani. And uh, if you're watching this in the future, that should be there in the description for you. Instead, today we're going to be looking at all of the wrong ways Chris Dolly has been responding to this video. So if you happen to be one of the six and a half people who watch my content regularly, you may recall I made a video on LT Cobra, and there was a particular point in there I'd like to bring up. What's even weirder is that it says the legal rules for counter notifications require us to forward your contact information to the claimant who removed your video. So if I want my video, which was wrongfully taken down back, I have to give a suspected nonce my personal information on the internet. Now that. Cobra is using this as a defense point to justify his position. We can now safely assume joke's over. And the reason why the joke's over now, at minimum the joke's over now, is because now LT Cobra is not using this in good humor in any sense. This is him weaponizing his quote unquote joke and using it to his position's advantage. The humor, it's gone. It's left. It's gone bye bye. Humor has left the building. Now he's making a statement, plain and simple. And when I say that he's using it to his position's advantage, he's using it to justify him being unwilling to actually go through the dispute process against Just Destiny. Now, I'm going to say right now, I don't agree with YouTube's policy on, you know, fucking the way that they handle their sh the shitty fucking copyright system. They shouldn't be giving anybody anybody's information. But at the same time, that is a problem with YouTube as a whole. That's really not something to fairly attack Just Destiny for. He didn't set YouTube up that way. Granted, he may have known that that could happen, but we can't look into his fucking head and say that that is fucking so. Now, you may be wondering how that segment is connected to what I'm talking about now, but it's because Nani made a video on uh, Cristali, and Cristali's response was to have the video copyright struck, and then when Nani appealed it, they actually leaked their information and tried to incite their fan base into harassing her. Now, one of the claims in the video that was made about Cristali is that he has a bit of an incestuous relationship with his audience. And if you actually look at the way they were talking here, the way he spoke to them and they were speaking back, it's a little, <laughs> a little easy to believe, don't you know? But like I said, I'm not going to take too deep a dive into that. Instead, let's just talk a little bit about the aftermath, where uh, apparently Cristali has been arrested. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it turns out uh, one of the reasons Cristali might have been a little bit concerned about this video, talking about the uh, the inappropriate ways that he was communicating with his fans, is because it was actually kind of fucking true. <laughs> yeah, apparently Cristali very recently has been arrested and completely banned from the internet, if uh, Nani's Twitter account is to be believed, as well as the people who've been following the situation. And, um, yeah, I can kind of understand now, uh, if, uh, if I was trying to hide something... I'd probably try to intimidate somebody into silence as well, the way that he did. But, um, you know, it's kind of a kind of a situation where you're trying to roll hard way six. Because on the one hand, you bring a lot more attention to it in that respect. But on the other, maybe you silence them. So I can see where his mind was at. But either way, it's a bit of a retarded fucking move on his part. But if I had to say the most hilarious part of the situation is that even though Cristali has been proven to have been guilty of all the things that video was claiming... Nani apparently still has to go to the copyright school to get that copyright strike that he put there wrongfully on her channel removed. It's definitely interesting that, uh, that this is something that she still has to do because it's kind of been fucking, you know, proven that she was right. Not only that, what she was doing was completely within fair use and not something that she could be copyright struck for. Um, I find that to be incredibly interesting. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's none of my business. But, you know... You'd think with the whole YouTube wake-up thing being in such a recent moment in the past, they might actually start paying attention to the fact that this person is a fucking child groomer who copyright struck her, um, as well as the fact that he was copyright striking her out of fear of what she was saying and how honest it actually was. You'd think they'd be paying a little bit of attention to that kind of situation, 
but no, let's just let's just copyright. Let's just leave the copyright strike on somebody who doesn't fucking deserve it. That's that's cool too, I guess. You no YouTube, you don't want to you don't want to do your fucking job, Susan. No, that's it's fucking great. I'm not saying I'm a perfect man, and I'm not saying I could run a company, but I'm not that fucking stupid that I wouldn't be paying attention to this situation if somebody was copyright striking a large creator, mind you, was copyright striking another large creator. I ain't that fucking brain dead. They should be paying attention to something like that, and if it became this common knowledge that this person has been arrested for the shit that was claimed, yeah, maybe start actually paying attention to that sort of situation. It would make a lot of fucking sense, because maybe somebody who actually got hit unfairly, which in this case, that was what happened, maybe they deserve to have that copyright strike taken off of their channel, because it was proven to be put there wrongfully. Well, like I said, the video that Nani put up, if it's uh, made available soon, I will be linking that in the description, or once it is made available again, I'll be linking it in the description. As far as Crisali being arrested and banned from the internet, apparently, I say, you know, good riddance to bad garbage. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. Uh, anyway, the links to uh, my artist's social media outlets will be in the description, as well as the pinned comment. Please check them out. They do a wonderful job, and they work really hard on these new character stills that I've got going on here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, links to my social media and my Discord server are in the description as well. And you have yourself a great day.